What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, longtime trainer, mentor, big brother, uncle, father figure, Coach Calvin Ford, who is the trainer of undefeated three division world champion superstar boxer Javante Tank Davis, who is the reigning WBA lightweight super champion and is one of three faces of the sport of boxing between himself, Saul Canelo Alvarez, and the pound for pound king, Terrence Bud Crawford. With that said, Javante Tank Davis, obviously, we know already. If you don't know, you're living under a rock. He was looking to schedule a showdown in November against Vasil Lomachenko, a unification bout that would have been the new beginning of a new start of lineal-ship at 135 after the undisputed champion Devin the Dream Haney vacated his belts and moved up. That that popped the chain of lineal-ship. Nobody beat Devin Haney at 135. It wasn't passed on, so they had to start a new one, and they were looking to start it with Lomachenko versus Javante Tank Davis in November, but Lomachenko, what he did was pull the rug right from underneath Javante Tank Davis's feet. <laughs> Swept the rug right from underneath his feet, right? Um, no fair warning. So that left Javante Tank Davis searching for an opponent. But the obvious opponent, the no-brainer, the lateral move would be to face off against Olympic silver medalist, three-division world champion, former unified light, super featherweight champion, and the reigning WBC lightweight champion that you could pass the lineal ship and start a new lineal ship with in Shakur Stevenson. It only makes sense. It's a no-brainer. <clears throat> And Shakur Stevenson is on the list, short list of six fighters that Javante Tank Davis said he got six fights left in his career and then he's going to retire. And Shakur Stevenson is on that list. So this should be easy to be made, right? Right? Just simple mathematics. Easy, right? Wrong. Now Coach Calvin is saying that, you know, um, they're picking from the same pool of fans. So that's what makes this fight difficult to be made. Because their fan base is similar. It doesn't matter if your fan base is similar. When Zab Judah and Floyd Mayweather fought, their fan base was similar. The fight sells. It's going to sell. And they can't have the same similar fan base if Javante Tate fa Davis' fan base is way bigger than Shakur Stevenson's fan base. So if they shared the same fan base when Shakur Stevenson fight, nobody would be saying he's not a draw. When Tank Davis is one of the faces in a massive draw and break records at Gates, if they share the same fan base from the same pool, then they would be doing similar numbers. And he's saying, and giving an example, I understand what he's trying to get at. He said, when you look at Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford fight, the numbers didn't do as well as Javante Tank Davis versus Ryan Garcia because Ryan Garcia brought a different demographic of fan base. He brought the Mexican fan base. This is true, right? You bring those two fan base together, it makes it massive. But if you're going to fight Shakur Stevenson and you're saying that Shakur Stevenson needs to build himself up, well, how can he build himself up when they still have the same fan base? All he's going to do is attract more of the same people that Javante Tank Davis have as supporters. So he'll never build himself up to what you're talking about because he can only do one thing and that's be black. So the black African American community is the only ones that's going to support him in that aspect, right? Or you asking for him to make himself a crossover superstar. Still again, he's still going to be pick, you're still going to be picking from the same pool of fighters. Now, another thing is Javante Tank Davis has become one of the coaches, one of the advisors and, um, for the Olympics team, that's a, that's, that's a blessing right there. Shouts out to Javante Tank Davis. Shout out to Tank Davis for that. Uh, but they're saying that Tank Davis can't negotiate. He didn't send Shakur Stevenson a contract yet, as of yet, because he's tied up. Javante Tank Davis doesn't negotiate for himself. He has a team that negotiates for him. Just because he's in, uh, Paris for the Olympics, that don't mean he can't negotiate a fight. Yeah, he's helping train and advise the, the Olympic boxing team over there to bring Olympic gold medal back to the States. But he's not so busy that he can't negotiate from there to over here with Shakur Stevenson. Lomachenko was negotiating 
his team, Igis Clemens, Bob Aaron was negotiating on Lomachenko's part with the Tank Davis fight, and Lomachenko was in dealing with the unfortunate chain of events between Russia and the Ukraine. So Tank Davis being in Paris doesn't stop or hinder the negotiations. It doesn't mean he can't send Shakur Stevenson a contract, right? So Coach Calvin is saying that Tank is going to send Shakur a contract when he gets ready. When he gets ready, you you guys are looking to fight in November, right? So these are the things that I just don't understand. I just don't get it, right? These are the things that hinder the sport of boxing from growth. It cuts it off at the knees because people are excited for the lateral move. You went from Lomachenko, which was a big fight. Lomachenko pulled out. Now you go in the Shakur Stevenson fight, right? Two weeks. Lomachenko pulled out two weeks ago now. Okay? So now we should begin the negotiations for a Shakur Stevenson fight. We're going into two weeks since Lomachenko let it be known he's not fighting. What What is the holdup? Begin the negotiations. Your your number in your head, which you think that is worth for to fight Shakur Stevenson, ain't going to change. So go ahead and tally up the paperwork. Tell them what you're looking for. Tell them to send Shakur Stevenson the contract to get the ball rolling. Or maybe they already have. Because guess what? We didn't hear anything about Lomachenko in negotiations with Javante Tank Davis until Bob Arum leaked it. The week of Tank Davis fight with Frank the Ghost Martin. Nobody knew about that. Nobody was talking about that until Bob Arum leaked it that they were already in negotiations and was going to resume negotiations when Tank Davis beat Frank Martin. So silence could be a great thing. But as far as the pool of fighters, you not having, uh, uh, Shakur is not big enough because they, pulling from the same pool of fighters and you know uh that makes it difficult that's not true if you got two big big name fighters they'll they'll fight and the fans will support it period does it make it bigger if you I include another fan base another demographic absolutely hence the reason why i told you coach calvin wants the isaac cruz fight but let's see how this unfolds and plays out, man. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. That's all I got for y'all. I'm gone. Peace. <laughs>